Hey guys, what's going on? It's John, Gamester81. Uh, this video, I'm going to do another controversial game review, and this time it's going to be over Bubble Bath Babes for the NES. Uh, this game is pretty controversial in the sense that it's considered a pornographic game. Uh, there's nudity, so cover your eyes if you're young, cover your eyes. <laughs> uh, but uh, it came out uh, for the NES. It was obviously unlicensed by Nintendo. Uh, if you own the actual cartridge today, a loose cart can go from 800 to 900 plus dollars. If you want it complete in blocks, can go for thousands of dollars. Now, I don't own this game, unfortunately, a physical copy, but I do have a repro of it. So I'm gonna play this on the actual hardware uh, and you'll be able to see what it's like. Now, this repro is pretty cool because it has Peekaboo Poker, Hot Sots, and and, uh, and Bubble Bath Babe. So it has three of the games that this, the company published for the NES. Um, and so let me know what you guys think of this game. Um, it kind of reminds me of if you take Tetris and Bubble Bobble uh, with maybe Dr. Mario and those, those tile games, games you mix it and breed it and you add some porn to it. That's basically what you get with Bubble Bath Babe. So appreciate you guys leaving a comment. Uh, I'm really curious what you guys think about this game. And as always, guys, I always appreciate you guys thumbing up this video, liking this video. That, that, that means a lot. And thank you for subscribing. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at Bubble Bath Babes. Here is the main menu screen. Uh, pick Bubble Bath Babes. The music in this game is not bad. I think it's probably one of the better features of the Bubble Bath Babes. We'll start it. You have different options. You have player one uh, for, or player two. Uh, so you, do you want to play by yourself or do you want to do an origin and play with multiple people? Uh, uh, you can type A or type B, which is uh, basic difficulty. Type A doesn't start with any bu uh, bubbles, where type B has bubbles already on the screen, which makes it a lot harder. We'll do type A, and this is a uh, different music. Uh, let's go and start the game. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is a naked chick at the very bottom of the screen. The uh, goal of this game is like Puzzle Bubble in the sense that you have to line up four of the same colors in a row. Um, so it can get very, very challenging. And then there's a bubble, of course, that uh, fill in spaces, which I think is probably the hardest part of this game. Doing ter absolutely terrible here. So there you go, you got the green. Uh, and then you can spell magic in this. There's, letter there's certain bubbles with, with uh, different letters on it. You can spell magic. I'm going to lose this round. <laughs> I just said I know it. It's awful. Awful. There we go, multiple ones. Nice. Okay, that would be good. Go like this. <clears throat> Alright, so it's not, not so bad after all. There's, see, there's G. You can change the, where the light, you know, the layout of the bubbles, which is cool as well. Definitely the hardest part of this game are just the empty bubbles that fill up space. That's definitely uh, probably the most challenging part of the game. Now, this is obviously the first stage, so it's kind of slow. I don't know what happened there. That kind of glitched out a little bit. Um, see, I have to get that G. Otherwise, it's going to disappear on me. It just disappeared right when I had opportunity. That stinks. So there's another G. Okay. There we go. It's going to pop up on that screen there. I'm not sure what happens when you get that. Uh, I haven't really noticed anything special happen. Now there are um, certain bubbles that have like a kind of a, kind of a rainbow circular disc that does appear. And what that does is it changes all, it's like a magic one, it changes all the bubbles the same color. Um, so you pretty much are making the win. This game is surprisingly addicting now, uh, but it's hard, no, no pun intended of course. Now the initial game was called Magic, uh, not Magic Boobs, Magic, Magic Bubble, uh, and the, it was came out by a company called uh, CNE Games. Uh, not to be confused with uh, TNA Games, which would, would have probably been better fitting. Uh, obviously, the game was created for an adult audience, unlicensed by Nintendo, of course. Now, initially, CNE once they developed this game, they sold it to a company called American Video Entertainment. They released a bunch of uh, games. But, but what they did was they uh, took away the nudity and they added um, basically bikinis to the girls and they called it uh, Mermaids of Atlantis, which is still available. I don't know what's going on there, it's weird. It's never done that before, uh, which is odd. I'm not sure why uh, well, it's apparent that. But anyway, Mermaids of Atlantis came out much cheaper than, than this game for sure. So if you're looking for a fun game like this, Mermaids of Atlantis is still unlicensed. Uh, and uh, still very, very challenging, of course. And this is on the easiest setting, so this is going slow, where typically it goes uh, much faster in the harder settings. 
So, and then once uh, once it came out as Mermaids Atlantis, uh, what what Panasian, a company called Panasian, released this game. I'm gonna go ahead and lose. Uh, and then they released it as they changed the name to Bubble Bath Babes, released it again, and that's the rare one to find. Let's continue. I, I believe Bubble Bath Babes is the only one that I don't think uh, Magic Bubble came out for the NES. I think it came out for possibly the Famicom. But ironically, even though there's like a naked chick at the very bottom, I'm not even paying attention to that because I'm more focused on the game. And gameplay is not bad. I'm curious. I'm curious what your guys' favorite uh, puzzle game is. For the NES. I personally, I really like Tetris, obviously, if that's what we all think of, of course. I like, I like Dr. Mario a lot, I like Yoshi's Cookie, um, a game called Hattress, which is very unique. Uh, I, I believe, like, what, uh, Wario Woods came out, that was the last game for the NES. There's, there's quite a few bubble games that were released for the system, and I just, they're addicting, and this is definitely up there, this is definitely an addicting game. I'm also curious if you guys ever played this game. Okay. There's G. Let's see if I can get my G. Oh, there you go. Greens. Are you kidding me? Oh man, this is a brutal. I'm luck here. Combo. Man. Unbelievable. No greens. It's gonna disappear right when I get the green watch. That's a third. That's what I call some horse. There you go. At least they make it up there. So there's a G's gonna pop up there. That was, that was terrible there. Light, light touches to show you the next move, of course. Ah. Uh, this is gonna be brutal. See, this one's brutal because it fills up spots. Yeah, that's nothing to do about that. The more points you get, the more bubbles you pop, obviously. There we go. Nice, got the A. That was a nice move. Come on, Grant. Oh! I had that. Quite a bit of strategy uh, in this game, surprisingly. There we go. Yeah, I got the eye. Almost about to, about to spell it. I get the combo purple. Nice. Green and the yellows look similar to me. I don't know, maybe because I'm maybe color colorblind. I don't know, but they look. There's that one special thing I was talking about. Turn them all the same color. That's neat. It's kind of random how that happens. That was bad. Man. I'm hurting for certain. Uh, say, and this is the easiest setting, guys. So you can see how challenging this game gets. Curious what you guys think of this game? Uh, please leave a comment below. If you guys ever play this game, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious. I read your comments. Uh, also, appreciate you guys liking this video. That means a lot. And if you guys want to stay in touch, you can follow me on on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, as well as my website, Gamester81.com. Uh, also, I have t-shirts available for those who are interested uh, at Chop Shop Goods. I'll put a link below. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, game on. See you guys later. Take care.